Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here, the Transformers Earthrise review. And in this review, we'll be taking a look at Deluxe Class Ironworks. And we'll just quick look at the package, turn the side, artwork, not a robot artwork, you know, the other ones we got the robot modes on the side. Like with Cliff Jumper here, Ironworks, you just get his Micro Master base mode, which in G1 was pretty much all he was anyway. And in the back, we get to look at the figure. 10 steps gets you from here takes them all apart puts them here the other side has the siege and then your obligatory galvatron floating in space and here is ironworks the figure it's a nice looking figure i would say looking at this guy he would make a good generic autobot you know army build kind of figure you can have a bunch of these guys running around just because they look like generic soldiers so they could be your red shirts or your cannon fodder now look at him, he looks really good. I do like the colors of the yellow on the black, on the silver, on the grays, and everything. But I noticed my figure, he's got where they painted here. He's a little bubbly looking. He just looks kind of sloppy, a little messy. You know, honestly it adds to the battle damage look of the figure, I guess. So I'm not too fussed about it, but I was when I first opened him up. But right now looking at him, it's... Eh, it's not bugging me that much because when you're sitting there, you don't really notice this. It's when you get a little bit closer that it really comes into focus. Now, he is also, like I said, very poseable as most Siege or War for Cybertron figures are. Now, Earthrise, he can actually hold his gun in both hands. And using the hook on the other hand, you just turn it around and he can hold his gun like that. Just as Cliff Jumper, who is smaller, can do the same. Turn around, take a look backpacks pretty much this is just the weaponizers from siege just i don't know i guess say upgraded to make a new kind of figure and with this ram system you can also hook this to omega supreme now omega supreme's tracks are wider but the connection points are not so you'll just have a wide track then go into a smaller track then back to a wide track now i think it's non-f productions is making a track for omega so let's take a look at the face sculpt of ironworks I do like it. Kind of Decepticonish with the red paint and the visor mouthpiece. You're focusing on that not head sculpt. Here's his weapon. We'll just take this out of his hand. And it also does split apart. So you can have two weapons as well. Peg one somewhere else. Put this to the side. Now in the G1, Ironworks was a Micro Master. Uh, it was a Micro Master base. Who came, Ironworks was actually this guy. And right now, he came out in Siege in the MicroMaster pack at Target, the 10 pack. And they call him Iron Tread. Because they were, I guess, planning on making Ironworks the base into an actual figure. But back in G1, these two guys came together in a little playset. The playset would just transform from a construction site like to a radar. And this guy here was the main Ironworks construction guy who would just transform to a truck mode like this. So, these guys go together. So, if you have Iron Tread from the Siege Pack, you have his little buddy. Or Iron Tread's big buddy. However you want if you have this guy. Articulation is the same as you're going to get out of thing. Bicep swivels, elbows, waist swivels. Now, this little ramp thing down here in the back kind of hinders some of his movement. So, just letting you know. Elbows, ball jointed hips. You're going to get anything at ankle tilts, of course. Head turns left right shoulders you're going to get everything you're going to get out of war for cybertron nothing special but nothing lacking except for just a little bit of this being in the way all right so let's do a bit of size comparison here he is with hoist who comes in the same assortment both are deluxe class but you can see that hoist is a lot bigger Put hoist to the side. We'll take a look at next to Cliff Jumper, who is also a deluxe class, but he's a lot smaller. We'll also compare him here with Siege Sideswipe, so you can see a regular Carbot Deluxe. And then we'll take a look at him with next to Siege Impactor, who is more hoist height. And then we'll take a look at next to uh, I think it's Zetar, Zetar, and they're about the same. They they pretty much function the same way. One's a weaponizer, and one's a ramp system dude, so they're pretty much equals in things that they just come apart to form extra bits for other transformers, and they can make, he makes a base mode, and he makes weird alt modes. Alright, to get Ironworks into his construction base, 
let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we're going to do is just remove his arms. Put them to the Put him to the side. Pick up his arms. Arm this way. You want to take this. They have the hook going the other way. So let's spit him at his swivel. This hook's facing the opposite way. Put that down. You want to pick up his other arm. Holding it this way. You want to push this piece up. And then this will connect. This little tab here will go right in here. So you're going to do a full elbow bend. So it shows how much articulation his elbow on this arm has. Put this to the side. Come back to the back of Ironworks. Remove this ramp. Put that to the side. Come over here. You want to take his head. You want to spin around to where he's looking at his back. And then you want to just tuck it in. There we go. Now you want to grab this whole front piece here. Just untabs from this ramp. This little peg comes out of there. Come on. There we go. Put that down to the side. Come over here. You want to remove his legs from this piece. And put this piece to the side. So right now we got all these little bits from him. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take his little legs, we'll just slide everything off, fold his thighs in, alright so take his arm that you fold it all the way up, take one of his legs, you can see where there's a peg hole here, and two pegs here, you're going to take it and just peg a piece in, like this, take the other leg, peg hole, peg, peg it in. And you got part of the base platform. Alright, so now take this little ramp piece that comes on his hip. Take this piece you just made. Flip it this way. And what this is going to do is just connect right here. So just get it. And we're just going to pop it on. Like so. And then we're going to come over here and take this piece here. And you're going to now tab it in to this piece here. The instructions have you doing this first. Before you do that... I would recommend taking his gun. You just take his gun apart. And this piece here goes it goes right here. So we want to peg that in. Because there is a peg hole for this gun right here. And I'm just going to line on this peg, the peg, just line them up and push them in. That piece is now locked in. Then you take his other gun, and it will go on the underside. You can see right here there is this peg, an opening to the gun. So we're just going to peg that in. Here. Here's a little more, it's like a column or pillar in the back to help hold them up and keep them level all the way through. Then you want to take the ramp off his back and you hook it to any ramp piece you really want to. It just depends on you. The instructions show this piece here. So this is the one we're going to use. And just point that down. Alright, so we're coming to this piece here. There's a peg that's in his chest. Which you now have here. You raise that up like that. Take the crane arm. There's a peg hole here. Just peg it in. And you have his crane. And it will rotate all around to pick stuff up. And playing with his articulation on his arm, you can always just move his arm around, crane around, so you can get articulation. So when this moves, you can have it bend over, like pick something up. So it's a little MicroMaster base for your MicroMasters. And we'll put Iron Tread on it. And there you go. He is all done up in base mode with his little MicroMaster Pal. Size comparison with a Earthrise Deluxe Vehicle, here is Will Jack. And with a Siege, here is Hound. So it's not a bad figure, it's something that you can play with. And these guys are cool, it looks nice. Uh, he's mostly going to be a robot, from, you know, robot mode for me. Uh, if I get extras, I might put a few in this mode. Uh, connect them up, you know, as a playset. But I think he makes a good generic 
warrior. So, I mean, he's kind of cool in that mode. And he's, and it, it works in this, especially if you have a whole bunch of these play sets. You can you know, then lay out your MicroMasters. But that's going to be hella expensive to have a bunch of these guys at $20 a pop. But if you don't mind spending the money, you know, you can get a whole bunch of them. Lay out you a little MicroMaster City. Alright, so with Ironworks back into his little pieces, and you can now make his radar tower. It's not really a radar tower anymore, but you can still make his tower mode. What we're going to do is just take his legs first, and this one ramp piece. We'll just slide everything out to the side. So you want to open up his legs. Then you want to take this ramp piece here, and you just want to peg it in. So you have his legs like this, and you just want to fold them up to where it makes this kind of square. Turn it upside down. Then you want to take his chest piece, his torso. See these two pegs here. Two peg holes in his feet. Line it up. Peg it in. Then you take this ramp piece that has his hip and leg connectors. Then you want to tab it with the connectors facing this way. More of this space this way. This peg on the front. And you just peg it in. Put it down. Now you'll take his crane arm, get it hooked to where it looks like this. Just want this peg facing up. And you just take the peg here, peg hole, and just put it on. You take the weapon, peg, peg hole. Do better than I'm doing though. Peg it in. Now you take this piece here, you want to open this up, pull it down. And you bring it all the, way, all the way down. needs a place where this one can sit. Raise this peg up here. Now you want to take this piece here. And you want the platform side to be facing up. And you want these two little cannon pieces to be facing whichever way you want. You want to peg that peg into this peg hole. But I can't do that with mine. My peg hole here has like a flat side. So I don't know if it's the plastic or is there too much paint right there. I need to uh, scrape off. I figure it was paint. If I forced it, it would go. I can't force it on the peg. So I'm having to turn mine around the wrong way and use this peg hole here. But you'd, you don't use the other side. You'd want the platform flat side to be up so you can stand your figures on it. But I gotta stand mine. I gotta put mine this way. So. There's your little radar station, whatever. You can put somebody in there. Someone down here to do the gun. And if you didn't have this crane arm on there, if you face these if you face these pieces up here you can close that up so you know they could be in there and like surprise mother you know and then boom it'd be in there coming out so that's just something else you can do and of course the pieces come off like weaponizers and you can actually apply them to transformers as well okay so using the siege version of g2 sideswipe i'm going to apply ironworks pieces as if he's like a weaponizer so what you want to do is you take his legs so much stuff going on over here you want to open them up and you want the feet to be facing outwards to the outside of him you want the ramp pieces to be facing towards his inner leg so you just take the peg peg holes just like the weaponizers and you will peg this on do the same on the other and then that gives him some boots because they're made for walking. It's going to up his height. And you want to take this chest piece. You want to open it up, raise up this peg, find a peg hole, peg it in. Now he has a super claw on his arm that he can really claw the crap out of somebody or scoop some poop after he follows his dog around. Then you take this ramp piece with the hips, the other ramp piece like this. Go ahead and tab them together. One of these tabs. Pick your poison, put it on the other arm. You're gonna take this arm piece here, unfold it, take his crane, tie these two pieces together, turn his crane. Now, this is going to tab in his back. You want to fold this piece out like this, then come to the middle port on his back. That will tab in his back, like so. And you take, last but not least, his gun. And then that can peg right here onto this port. On the crane. Yes, I'll raise the camera up in a second. 
Yeah, there we go. And here is side swipe. All decked out. So he's got like a shield on one arm, which you know you can rotate down. I prefer that. He's got a big claw on the other arm. Big boots to give him some height. A big crane with a gun attached that goes in his back. So those are some things you can do. I I really don't like all that on the feet this on the arm is just too much i like the crane on the back and i like the claw arm those are two things i think they look kind of cool that's uh, something else you can do with ironworks all right so final thoughts on ironworks as you can see i got him laid out with a bunch of micromasters and a battle master rung sitting there it's a nice uh you know figure so way take something from the 80s and update it for now where the actual platform becomes a robot as well as the MicroMaster itself. It's cool in that aspect and it gives it more playability, especially if you want to play around or build any kind of play sets, dioramas, you know, tabletop you know, battles, whatever you want to do with it. It also makes a cool looking robot. I really do like the actual look of the robot. The colors are really good. I'd say the paint's applied nicely, except for on his arms, it's kind of I don't know, sloppy, or it's just the paint didn't. They wasn't applied well enough in time to dry properly on him. But he looks cool. And I, like I said, I think he'd make a good generic Autobot builder. You know, so you can have an army of them. Kind of That's why I kind of view like Brunt from the Decepticons and the Weaponizers. He'd make a good army building robot. Anyway, at $20 is not a bad thing. Because, you know, all the luxes are now for 20 bucks, And you get more playability out of this guy here. Yeah. So far in Earthrise, I've enjoyed every figure. I'm hoping to find a grapple soon because he just looks really good to me and I just really want to grapple. Don't know why. Anyway, thanks for watching this review. Until the next one, peace out.